Hi everybody, my name is Barry Schwartz and this is the Search Buzz Video Recap. Today is Friday, February 15th, and this is the search news we covered over at the Search and the Roundtable at sdroundtable.com over the past week. Sorry about the banging, there's some construction going on. Um, that being said, um, Google's Mac Cuts um, went ahead and explained how to find backlinks, uh, bad links, um, in a video recently discussing two things. One is um, using the um, examples given to you in these unnatural, if you get like an unnatural link warning via Google, um, Google will typically these days now give you examples of links, not all of them, but some like two, three, four examples of links that were uh, considered unnatural, and then you can probably use that to find other ones that are similar. Two, if you get a recent warning, you might be able to use the most, the recent links in uh, in the uh, Google Webmaster Tools way to like filter just some of the most recent links in those in that view, and you can use that to find some things. But that's not, ha people aren't happy with that. Um, SEOs and webmasters want Google to tell them specifically, you know, which links are bad. Maybe in the Google Webmaster Tools report, the link report will show, show me my bad links. That's what SEOs want. I'm not sure if they'll go ahead and do that. I wouldn't be surprised if they did, but we'll see. Talking about webmaster notifications, Matt Cuss did another video this week talking about the types of notifications they've done. And we know that Google sends out hundreds of thousands of, link of notifications each month. We know that 90% of those are black hat related, meaning Google's notifying people of black hat related issues. Um, but what about the rest? So Matt Cuss discussed them. He said 90% are black hat. 4% are regarding low or no quality content on your website. It's kind of panda related. 3% are them hacking related. 2% are about buying links. And about 1% are about selling links. So those are the types of notifications that Google sends out. They said, he said they sent out about 10 types of notifications. So I guess the other five would be um, very little in terms of the number of notifications. Probably more related to uh, upgrading stuff and uh, other issues that we've covered about like DNS issues or stuff like that. Um, talking about Webmaster Tools, Google Webmaster Tools, the search queries report was delayed, and I don't know if it's still delayed, but it was been very delayed in the past this past week. And in fact, Google Webmaster Tools in total has major issues throughout the whole entire week and last week as well. Uh, specifically, they actually finally fixed the uh, bug report, the bug with the link report, where the links were actually dropped drastically. So Google fixed that. Now that everybody's links should be back to normal. Um, in addition, the we did this interesting. I, did, I found this interesting thing. Well, was specifically with um, index status report. Uh, so you know Google has this index stat status report, which is really useful, uh, but I didn't realize that it wasn't on par with the sitemap report. They're actually different reports, they analyze different data, but there was this case where I saw a, a site, somebody shared with me this site that's about a few weeks old. Um, it had a site new file, so, which I uploaded a few days later, and the site command was, was returned thousands and thousands of pages. The issue was the webmaster tool showed that there was 33,000 plus pages indexed, but the index status report showed an index count of three pages. Um, John said, John Mueller from Google, John, sorry, John Mueller from Google uh, told me that typically this, the index status report is basically a weekly snapshot, so it's somewhat delayed. The sitemap numbers are often updated daily, so it's much more fresh. The index status and sitemap reports use different types of index, they look at different types of things. And since the site is new, new, you should not worry. A few days later, I took a look at the, I got an update from the from the webmaster. I took a look at the uh, webmaster tools report, and it went to thirty three thousand plus pages. Um, so just show you, don't be worried too much if it's a, if it's not up to date. Um, Google typically updates that report weekly. Um, talking about Google webmaster tools too, the Google Plus vote count, um, not with the webmaster tools because they removed that. Uh, but basically, if you look at your page, the Google Plus, the pluses on your on your Google Plus page, or um, were actually dropped drastically. Google fixed that within like five or six hours. But there were a lot of bugs reports this week. Um, another issue is uh, the, with the new Google Image Design, Google's report offensive images feature is gone. I mean, you have to go to an external form now, hyperlink to the search result, tell them which image it is. Um, it's more of a pain now for searches to actually just say I'm reporting this image is offensive. Are you sure? Yes. Now it's like a whole step. You have to go to a separate form. You got to go ahead and uh, copy and paste the URL of the image result, then tell them which image it is. It's somewhat of a pain. Google said they're working on fixing it or adding, adding that feature back. Uh, Google AdWords error. There was an AdWords error that affected a lot of people where the error was named ad groups with no ads. So they got a notification, X number of ads in your ad groups have no ads. When you click on it, all the ads 
are filled. So the question is, why is Google showing this error? Um, Googler owner, O-N-U-R, I don't know, um, said, we've seen some cases of this morning. They're going to look into it and try to hopefully fix it. I'm not sure if it's fixed yet, uh, but there was a bug earlier this week with AdWords. Um, a personal story, Flickr had a bug, a major bug, at least for me. Um, it didn't affect so many people, but it affected me. Um, Flickr sent me an email Saturday night saying, I'm sorry, but a lot of your images, about 688 of them, were publicly available to anybody to access them if they wanted to. Um, they did say the only way to access them was to actually have a direct link to those images or to browse through your gallery, I assume. Um, but they were not available in search or the search in the, or they were not available in other search engines. Um, so there's real no way for people to find them. I'm not sure how many images of mine were affected. Only there was apologize. They were quick to apologize. They responded to my questions, um, but nothing else. I mean, it's pretty upsetting to have pub private photos made public, uh, but it is what it is. So the internship, there's a movie coming out called The Internship. It's coming out June 7th. Um, it's pretty interesting in that um, it's, uh, it's a movie, uh, so we've covered this before, but it's basically a movie about, a comedy somewhat about two older men who know nothing about computers, um, lose their jobs, and they want to go ahead and work for the coolest company and the hippest company in the world, so they get an internship to try to get a job at, the, at Google. So they call it the internship, and they talk, it's basically a comedy about working at Google as an intern. Um, where specifically the two people working there know nothing about computers. But the question was, how do Googlers, Google, Google employees actually feel about this movie? And I went through a whole Google Plus thing, finding what people were saying about it, the Googlers specifically, what were they saying about the internship? And most overall, they're pretty nervous about it. They, they think it's not gonna represent the real Google culture, uh, but a lot of Googlers are actually having fun with it, which is nice to see. Uh, let's try to recap this. So there was a Valentine's Day yesterday. A bunch of search engines had logos. Google had an unbelievable logo with a Ferris wheel celebrating the 154th birthday of George Ferris. Um, but it was interactive doodle. You clicked on it, it was pretty cool. It was a great Valentine's Day uh, logo with lots and lots of layers of, of meaning behind it. Bing had an owl, cuddling up with another owl. Ask.com had a very cute uh, background theme. Um, Dogpile had a nice thing going on. Uh, a lot of other search engines, we also had some nice things going on as well. Um, the cool thing today is I see that Google's working on an asteroid lo logo. As you know today, an asteroid will pretty much fly about 21,000 miles just next to Earth. It's going to skim by us, not touch us thankfully, but it's going to go through a layer and leave some stuff going on in, in our atmosphere. That being said, Google has a special doodle where they have the G and the logo actually dodging an asteroid flying down. Um, it went live for a bit, and Google pulled it. I think they're going to put it back up around 2 o'clock or so Eastern Time. So take a look at around 2.25 Eastern Time, Google.com, uh, to see what's going on with the Asteroid logo. Anyway, um, that pretty much recaps the Search Buzz video recap. My name again is Barry Schwartz. This is the search news we covered over at the Search Roundtable at SCRoundtable.com. Everyone have a great weekend. And again, I apologize for all the banging. Bye.